Terephthalic acid is the organic compound with formula C6H4, CO2H2. This white solid is a commodity chemical, used principally as a precursor to the polyester PET, used to make clothing and plastic bottles. Several million tons are produced annually. History The importance of the terephthalic acid was realized after World War II. The first companies to commercialize the use of the fibers made from polyethylene terephthalate were Imperial Chemical Industries in the UK in 1949 and DuPont in the US in 1953. The fibers were made from dimethyl terephthalate by transesterification with ethylene glycol. Terephthalic acid was produced by oxidation of peak xylene with dilute nitric acid. This type of oxidation involved the use of air in the initial oxidation step to minimize the consumption of nitric acid and difficulty in purification. Growth in the textile industry led to increase in demand of TPA. In the 1960s, all the terephthalic acid produced was converted to its dimethyl ester, since TPA and was infusible and difficult to purify. Presently TPA is manufactured by oxidation of peak xylene. Solubility Terephthalic acid is poorly soluble in water and alcohols, consequently up until around 1970 terephthalic acid was purified as its dimethyl ester. It sublimes when heated. Solubility of terephthalic acid G-100 G solvent, vapor pressure of terephthalic acid, specifications of polymer-grade terephthalic acid. Production equals Amoco process equals, in the Amoco process, Terephthalic acid is produced by oxidation of peak silene by oxygen in air. The process uses cobalt manganese bromide catalyst. The bromide source can be NaBr, HBr or tetrabromoethane where bromine functions as a regenerative source of free radicals. In this process, acetic acid is the solvent and oxygen from compressed air is the oxidant. The combination of bromine and acetic acid is found to be highly corrosive and hence the equipment is lined with titanium. A feed mixture containing peak xylene, acetic acid, the catalyst system, and compressed air is fed to a reactor. The oxidation of methyl group takes place in two steps where peak xylene is converted to petaluic acid and the undesirable product for carboxyaldehyde along with crude TA. It is further purified to obtain the TA with the removal of 4-carboxyaldehyde using crystallization, centrifugation and filtration. 98% of peak silene is reacted to give more than 95% mole TPA and the solvent losses are comparatively low and hence Amico process is followed by the industries. This reaction proceeds through a petaluic acid intermediate which is then oxidized to terephthalic acid. In petaluic acid, Deactivation of the methyl by the electron withdrawing carboxylic acid group makes the methyl one tenth as reactive as xylene itself, making the second oxidation significantly more difficult. The commercial process utilizes acetic acid as solvent and a catalyst composed of cobalt and manganese salts, with a bromide promoter. The yield is nearly quantitative. The most problematic impurity is for formula benzoic acid which is removed by hydrogenation of a hot aqueous solution. This solution is then cooled in a stepwise manner to crystallize highly pure terephthalic acid. Despite optimized yields greater than 95% with excellent purity, the synthesis has proven to have shortcomings. Due to high reaction temperature, approximately 5% of the acetic acid solvent is lost by decomposition or a euro burning euro unregistered trademark. Solvent burning is a significant economic factor in the oxidation process. In addition, product loss by decarboxylation to benzoic acid is common. The high temperature diminishes oxygen solubility in an already oxygen-starved system. Pure oxygen cannot be used in the traditional system due to hazards of flammable organic O2 mixtures. Atmospheric air can be used in its place but once reacted needs to be purified of toxins and ozone depleters such as methyl bromide before being released. Additionally, the corrosive nature of bromides at high temperatures requires the reaction be run in expensive titanium reactors. Equals Cooxidation equals, the cooxidation technique uses an auxiliary substance which is simultaneously oxidized to H2O2 which increases the activity of the oxidation catalyst. Auxiliaries include, Acetaldehyde, paraldehyde, 
and methyl ethyl octone. Equals multistage oxidation equals, this method is developed to reduce concentration of 4 formyl benzoic acid content in final product to rephthalic acid to 200 to 300 ppm without separate purification step. The product is often called medium purity TPA. In this method, heating gives increased TPA solubility. At high temperature, TPA crystals constantly dissolve and reform which increases release of 4 formyl benzoic acid in solution where oxidation can be completed. Mitsubishi process, peak silene in acetic acid is oxidized as an amico oxidation using a cobalt manganese bromine catalyst. A slurry is heated to 235 to 290 degrees Celsius and oxidized further in another reactor. Eastman chemical, this method includes two-stage oxidation processes both at 175 to 230 degrees Celsius temperature instead of heating between stages. After multistage oxidation, solid liquid separation and drying to obtain final product is carried out. Equals Henkel process equals, alternatively, but not commercially significant, is the so-called Henkel process, or Rennick process, named after the company and patent holder respectively. This process involves the rearrangement of phthalic acid to terephthalic acid via the corresponding potassium salts. Terephthalic acid can be prepared in the laboratory by oxidizing various paradisubstituted derivatives of benzene, including caraway oil or a mixture of cyamine and cuminol with chromic acid. The use of CO2 overcomes many of the problems with the original industrial process. Because CO2 is a better flame inhibitor than nitrogen gas, a CO2 environment allows for the use of pure oxygen directly, instead of air, with reduced flammability hazards. The solubility of molecular oxygen in solution is also enhanced in the CO2 environment. Because more oxygen is available to the system, supercritical carbon dioxide has more complete oxidation with fewer byproducts, lower CO production, less decarboxylation and higher purity than the commercial process. When reaction runners in supercritical water can be effectively catalyzed by MnBr2 with pure O2 in a medium high temperature. Use of supercritical water instead of acetic acid as a solvent diminishes environmental impact and offers a cost advantage. However, the scope of such reaction systems is limited by the even harsher conditions than the industrial process. Ketones have been found to act as promoters for formation of the active CO-3 catalyst. In particular, ketones with a methylene groups oxidize to hydroperoxides that are known to oxidize CO-2. Viable ketones were butanin, triastomethane, 2, 3 pentanedione, and acetylacetone, all of which can stabilize radical formation through resonance. Reactions run at temperatures as low as 100 degrees Celsius are possible by using zirconium salts as a co-catalyst in place of bromide and manganese acetate. It is thought that the Zr, 4, acts to oxidize Co, 2, to the active Co, 3. This alone shortens the induction period, and has been shown to have a synergistic effect with ketones. However, a greater amount of cobalt acetate is required than the common industrial process and is ineffective over 160 degrees Celsius 3. The addition of a small portion of metalloporphyrin, in particular T, PCL, PPMNCL, has a co-catalytic effect with the traditional co oak 2 catalyst. This requires less acetic acid and does not require bromides. The catalytic effect has been attributed to the ease of peroxide formation over the metalloporphyrin. The auto-oxidation of peak silene is known to proceed through a free radical process. The Mn, 3, and Co, 3, metals alone are not strong enough oxidizers to start the radical chain reaction, but instead initiate it by forming bromine radicals from the ions in solution. These bromine radicals then decompose hydroperoxides that are ligated to the metals as well as abstract hydrogens from the methyl group some peak silene to form free radicals and propagate the reaction. The following are the proposed initiation, propagation and termination steps for the first of four oxidations involved in the auto-oxidation. The radical chain reaction proceeds through a series of intermediates, starting with the oxidation of peak silene to p-tolualdehyde then p-toluic acid, 4-carboxybenzaldehyde, 
and finally to the terephthalic acid product. The kinetics of the oxidation are exceedingly complex, but a general understanding of the mechanism has been established. Equals alternative and path technologies equals a Eurocent oxidation of peak silene with acetic acid solvent and cobalt catalyst with acetaldehyde activator at 120 to 140 C with residence time greater than or equal to two hours. Bromine is now being used in place of acetaldehyde. A Eurocent mobile chemicals in U.S. with above processes used cobalt catalyst with acetic acid solvent and 2 butanin as activator. After reaction, crude TPA was leached by adding pure acetic acid and at high temperature to achieve partial solubility. Final purification was by sublimation and catalytic treatment of the vapor. A Eurocent Henkel technology, starting with thalic anhydride, monopotassium and dipotassium thalate salts were formed in sequence. Dipotassium salt was isomerized to dipotassium to rephthalate under carbon dioxide at 1000. 5000 kPa in 350 to 450 C. This salt was dissolved in water and recycled to the start of process, where TPA crystals formed during production of monopotassium salts. A Eurocent process by Lummis using denitrile root, a Eurocent process by Eastman using the formation of 1, 4 diiodobenzene with carbonylation to aromatic acids. A Eurocent process by Mitsubishi Gas Chemicals. Here, complex between toluene and hydrogen fluoride boron trifluoride is formed and carbonylated with carbon monoxide to form p-tolualdehyde complex. After decomposition of complex p-tolualdehyde can be oxidized in water with a manganese bromine catalyst system to terephthalic acid. A Eurocent oxidation using nitric acid but leads to difficulty in purification and NOx emissions. Applications Polyester fibers based on PTA provide easy fabric care, both alone and in blends with natural and other synthetic fibers. Polyester films are used widely in audio and video recording tapes, data storage tapes, photographic films, labels and other sheet material requiring both dimensional stability and toughness. PTA derivative, polyethylene terephthalate has become the primary container resin for applications such as carbonated beverage bottles, while other polyterephthalates provide dimensional stability, good heat resistance and durability for engineering applications. Terephthalic acid is used in paint as a carrier. Terephthalic acid is used as a raw material to make terephthalate plasticizers such as diactyl terephthalate and dibutyl terephthalate. It is used in the pharmaceutical industry as a raw material for certain drugs. In addition to these end uses, terephthalic acid-based polyesters and polyamides are also used in hot melt adhesives. PTA is an important raw material for lower molecular weight saturated polyesters for powder and water-soluble coatings. Virtually the entire world's supply of terephthalic acid and dimethyl terephthalate are consumed as precursors to polyethylene terephthalate. World production in 1970 was around 1.75 million tons. By 2006, global purified terephthalic acid demand had exceeded 30 million tons. There is a smaller, but nevertheless significant, demand for terephthalic acid in the production of polybutylene terephthalate and several other engineering polymers. In the research laboratory, terephthalic acid has been popularized as a component for the synthesis of metal organic frameworks. The analgesic drug oxycotone occasionally comes as a terephthalate salt. However, the more usual salt of oxycotone is the hydrochloride. Pharmacologically, 1 mg of terephthalas oxycodony is equivalent to 1.13 mg of hydrochloridum oxycodony. Terephthalic acid is used as a filler in some military smoke grenades, most notably the American M83 smoke grenade, producing a thick white smoke when burned. Toxicity, terephthalic acid has low toxicity and causes eye irritation and mild skin irritations. Prolonged inhalation or exposure can cause urinary tract stones and damage to the urinary tract, damage to testes and effects on the pituitary and thyroid glands. It also leads to tumors of the urinary tract. But there were no signs of genotoxicity. Terephthalic acid can also form dust clouds. As with any flammable substance, an explosion can occur, 
given proper dust and oxygen concentrations. References Brown, H. C., A. L., in Board, Each and Nod, F. C., Determination of Organic Structures by Physical Methods, Academic Press, New York, 1955. A. B. Richard J. Sheehan, Terephthalic Acid, Dimethyl Terephthalate, and Isophthalic Acid in Ullman's Encyclopedia of Industrial Chemistry, Wiley B. C. H., Weinheim, 2002. doi 10.1002/14356780261931 Article online posting date, June 15, 2000. A. B. Weixior, W. P. Leo, X. Y. Zhang, C. C. Guo, Q. Liu, G. F. Jiang and Q. H. Li. Aerobic oxidation of p-toluic acid to terephthalic acid over T. PCL. PPMNCL Company, Oak, 2 under moderate conditions. Catalysis letters 134, 155 a euro 161 doi, 10.1007 per second 10562-009-0227-1. ABC Zuo, Xi Alban, Bala Subramanium, and Dural H. Bush. Liquid phase oxidation of toluene and toluic acid under mild conditions. Synergistic effects of cobalt, zirconium, ketones, and carbon dioxide. Industrial and Engineering Chemistry Research 47, 546 a Euro 552 doi, 10.1021 slash 708986 H. A. B. Zuo, Xi Alban, Fengina U, Kirk Snavely, Bala Subramanium, and Dural H. Bush. Liquid phase oxidation of peak silene to terephthalic acid at medium high temperatures, multiple benefits of CO2 expanded liquids. Industrial and Engineering Chemistry Research 12, 260 Euro 67 doi, 10.1039 per byte 920262e. Yoshiro Ogata, Masaratsu Chida, Akihiko Maramoto. The preparation of terephthalic acid from thalic or benzoic acid. Journal of the American Chemical Society 79, 6005 Euro 6008. doi, 10.1021 slash jar 01579A043. Yoshiro Ogata, Masara Hojo, Maisnabu Morikawa. Further studies on the preparation of terephthalic acid from thalic or benzoic acid. Journal of Organic Chemistry 25, 2082 Euro 2087. doi, 10.1021 slash Joe 01082A003. Par copyright res, Eduardo, Joan Frigati Bruil, Eduardo Garcia Verdugo, Paul A. Hamley, W. Barry Thomas, Duncan Hursley, Wait Partenheimer, and Martin Poliakoff. Selective aerobic oxidation of paroxylene in sub and supercritical water. Part 1. Comparison with autoxylene and the role of the catalyst. Green Chemistry 13, 2389 Euro 2396. DOI 10.1039 per carat 1 GC 15137A. Jiang, Quan, Yang Xiao, Zetan, Qing Hong Li, and Ken Cheng Guo. Aerobic oxidation of peak silene over metalloporphyrin and cobalt acetate, their synergy and mechanism. Journal of Molecular Catalysis A, Chemical 285. 162 Euro 168 doi 10.1016 slash J Marketer 2008.01.040 Doi 10.1016/jmarketer2008.01.040 Wang, Kimbo, Yue Cheng, Lai Jun Wang, and Zai Li. Semi-continuous studies on the reaction mechanism and kinetics for the liquid phase oxidation of xylene to terephthalic acid. Industrial and Engineering Chemistry Research 46. 8980 Euro 8992. doi 10.1021/ye0615584. Ashford's Dictionary of Industrial Chemicals, Third Edition, 2011, page 8805, 1911 Encyclopedia. External links and further reading. Basic Organic Chemistry, Part 5. Industrial Products. J. M. Tidder, A. Nietzsche Battle, A. H. Tubb. John Wiley and Sons, Chichester, UK. International Chemical Safety Card 0330. See also, 
polycyclohexylene diamethylene terephthalate of thermoplastic polyester formed from terephthalic acid. 